Drawing is awesome. Drawing a face is the hardest thing to do, and it's the first thing that everyone wants to do. It's not easy. So what I have for you now is uh, over the next 10 minutes, we're going to go over the Loomis method. I have three examples and it's all about proportion. So I've just learned this stuff and uh, I drew a bunch of things and recorded it and I made this video because it's helpful to me and hopefully it's helpful to you. So if you're an artist and you're learning how to draw a face, welcome. This is the video for you. Let's get started. So I bought two books, Forms of the Head and Neck and Drawing the Head and Hands. That's, that's the Loomis method, that one with the yellow cover there. And they're great. They're really great books. This actually covers not just the Loomis method, but also the Riley method a little bit, which is more a way of kind of the, the flow of the face. So to start off here, we have the basic setup of the Loomis method. We've just drawn thirds and half a third vertically. So from the chin to the top of the head, uh, it's, it's three thirds and uh, a half a third at the top. The unit of measurement, that perfect square is actually the width of the eye, which ends up being half of a third. Um, so from the bottom of the face, you have the jaw, the nose, the eyebrow, the hairline, and then the top of the head from the airline hairline to the top of the head. And when you're looking straight on is half a third. So then if you divide that in half, right in the middle is going to be the line that cuts through the middle of the eyes. Now, to know that the head is like facing straight on, this is like perfect symmetry, right? The face is looking straight at you. The line of the eye is lined up with the origin of the ear. The eyebrow is lined up with the top of the ear. And that's how you know that the, uh, the head is looking straight on at you. If you start looking up or down, things change, right? But uh, this is like the basics of the basics of the basics of the Loomis method. Um, and it's really helped me address a bunch of problems with drawing faces from my head. Because that's really what the, the Loomis method is, is to help you drawing from your mind when you don't necessarily have uh, like a, a subject in front of you. Or if you're trying to draw a subject and you're having a hard time with it, the Loomis method helps you to address problems. Um, for instance, with me, I would always draw the, the mouth a little bit low and uh, I could never figure out what was going on with that. Uh, and then when you break down the space between the nose and the chin, it's in thirds and the, uh, the middle of the mouth is along that upper third and then the bottom of the chin. And then there's that little dimple. Um, there's a word for that. The anatomical term escapes me, but that's the lower third. Uh, between the mouth and the jaw. So those kinds of subtleties will help you address most of the problems that go uh, wrong when you're drawing the face. So like I said, the eye, the eye is a unit of measurement that's a perfect square vertically and horizontally. The, the distance from left to right is five eyes, or that is five units of measurement um, when you're looking directly on. The next example will have a face from the side and you'll see that that's a little bit different, um, but the vertical proportions are still the same. So what I'm doing here is dividing the face up into planes as well, uh, which, you, which uses the Riley method to start kind of identifying what the planes are. So I'm marking out the hairline, the brow, the nose, the lips and the chin. And I've numbered them on the side there. You can see there's three thirds and then half a third at the top of the head. And in the very center, once you've figured out those thirds is the line for the eyes. And if I were to be really picky here, those, those eyes are a little bit high, actually. You need to put them a little bit lower um, and that would make more sense. But uh, you gotta start somewhere, right? So the nose, the width of the nose that is around the nostrils is lined up with the inner eyes, the line that starts on the inside of the eyes. The mouth is lined up with the center of the eyes. And so is the chin. So those are really good starting points. Um, what else could I give you here? I mean, you can see it happening, right? You see it happening. So what I'm drawing out now is the basic structure of the face using the Riley method. 
the book there on the left you can see is uh, a face that's done in a 3d program and it's divided up using the Riley method or the rhythms of the face and head which is super helpful it really is I mean between Loomis and Riley you can't go wrong you're gonna draw a decent face so just filling in the eyebrows here this was a lot of fun to draw um, once you have the pencil lines and you start hitting it with the ink yeah it's a good time So there you go. That's the first attempt. It's not bad. You know, it's just for understanding. I wouldn't actually do this drawing for anything other than an instructional thing. Uh, so here we have a whole bunch of units of measurement. So that's that perfect square is like half a third, right? And here, so you can see in blue lines where the actual thirds are. And this is going to be a profile. On the left, you have uh, that third divided into thirds, and that's gonna give you starting points for the, uh, the brow, for the nose, chin, nose, and eyes. At the very top, you're gonna have the hairline, and then the top of the head again. So you can see the brow, the, uh, the outer, like most protruded part of the brow is the first dividing line of the third the nose goes all the way out to the end and then comes back and then comes back to that third again they're, they're not exactly lined up like the bridge of the nose isn't exactly lined up with that third it, it kind of goes in a little bit more the eye however that starts at the inner third and that's that's just the, the most important part of the face is that left, leftmost third of the head. The profile is a little bit complicated, right? The, the ear, for instance, the origin of the ear isn't really in the center of the head. Sometimes you can think it is, but it's not. It starts at that... Uh, the origin point, the origin point of the ear, like the inner line of it, is um, it's set back a little bit from that left third, that right third of the head, sorry, right third of the head. And then you have that half a third going out to the actual kind of back of the skull. I had a good time shading this one. As I got on, so to getting a little bit more comfortable and started treating it more like a drawing than a technical exercise, but still it's, it's a technical exercise. These drawings are, <laughs> I'm not really proud of them, but, uh, you know, I've recorded it, got it done and hopefully it helps you, uh, like it helped me. Got my Pentel brush pen there. So now we're going to go with another front facing face. And this is a female. This ends up being, uh, completely from my head. I don't think I had, no, I did have some reference for this, but um, it's, yeah, pretty much all from my head. The difference between the male and female is that the eyes are just a little bit bigger. You can see they extend past those, uh, those guidelines that you would use for the male head. So the eyes are just a little bit bigger. The brow is a little bit higher. Uh, the hairline is the same and the lips take up a little bit more real estate as well. You want to make them more pronounced. I sped this up so that this video gets in under 10 minutes. And I think, you know, by the end of 10 minutes, if you, if you get through this, Loomis method is going to be, it's not going to be a mystery to you anymore. I know to me, it was definitely a mystery before this. There's so many versions of the Loomis method out there and people who never actually read the book or got it, um, thinking that they're doing the Loomis method, much like I did in my first couple of explorations of the Loomis method. I thought I was using it and it wasn't the real Loomis method. 
Um, there are so many variations and people doing it their own way. It's, uh, it's a great guideline and it's standard. Andrew Loomis, he was an illustrator from the early 20th century. Um, and he was just using like kind of classic proportions, but he just wrote a book about it, systematized it. And that guy can draw faces. I'm telling you, if you, if you buy that book, uh, the Loomis method book, he's so skilled. It's ridiculous. Anyway, there you go. There's my video on the Loomis method. Uh, I'm going to move on from here and, and do some better ones. That was my first one. It's been sitting in the pile for a long time. Uh, I hope it helped you and I will see you again soon. Subscribe to the channel if you're into following my comic journey and learning as I'm learning uh, how to draw comic books and concept art. Okay, have a good one. Bye now.